Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how to optimize your Mac's performance. So how do we even measure the performance of our Mac devices? Well, it comes down to four main components, the CPU, the disk speed, the RAM, and the GPU. Just to quickly explain things, the CPU is kind of like the brain of the computer. It's the one that's registering all of the clicks that you're making, is making all the interactions and the operations work as well. So the disk speed refers to our hard drive speed in reading and writing data. So in quick terms, reading data is when our computer opens up programs and interprets a lot of the data so that we can see it in either a text form or video form or something like that. Writing data is actually the moving of that stuff from one place to another. So that could be downloading, it could be uploading, copying stuff, so on and so forth. The RAM or the random access memory is kind of like the size of our work table. It really refers to a lot of the multitasking. So the more RAM you have, the more apps that you can have running at the same time and the less RAM you have, so on and so forth. So if you run Google Chrome, Spotify, Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Photoshop and you have a lot of RAM, all those things can be run pretty smoothly. And if you don't really have that much, then it'll start to lag your computer. And the last thing is the GPU or the graphics processing unit. And just like the name suggests, it deals with all graphics, specifically in rendering. Photoshop needs rendering and so do video editing apps, but video games are the more commonly known thing to use a lot of GPU power. All right, so now that we know all that quick information, how do we even measure our max performance? Well, there are native apps to do that. And the first one that I'll mention is Activity Monitor. So if you open that up, you can see the whole list of every single process that is running on your computer simultaneously and see how much piece of the pie it's taking for your CPU, your memory, your GPU, so on and so forth. Down below, you can see a histogram of how much power is being used out of each component. And if you see a huge spike or just very high levels, it is kind of showing you that your Mac is starting to struggle in holding these processes. So disk speed is probably not going to be a problem unless your total storage exceeds 80%. So that is a fun fact to know that your SSDs will actually start to slow down if you have less than 20% left of it. So the two components that really matter are CPU and RAM, and that is the brain of the computer and the size of the work table. So let's talk about third-party apps that we can use to measure our Mac's performance. And there are a lot of pretty ones out there. The first one that I'll recommend is Clean My Mac X. Clean My Mac X is an all-in-one suite that is notarized by Apple, and it could do everything from clearing out system junk, optimizing your RAM, or doing malware removal. All right, so let's jump into Clean My Mac X right now. And right here is the main dashboard. But what we're going to do is go up to the top right corner, click on this little tiny icon, and we have some information right here. So we can easily look up things like the health of our hard drive, how much memory we have right now. We can even run a smart scan and we can head over to the CPU tab and see that same histogram of the frequencies and the percentages of these processes that are taking up our CPU. And last but not least, the memory and how much RAM we have left and if we are running out of that workspace table. This program can do a lot for you and make a lot of things like this a lot more simplified. So there's a download link in the description box below. I highly recommend downloading a free trial or getting the full version so you can unlock all these things that can make your life a lot easier. The next third party app is Blackmagic Design's Disk Speed Test. It's a super simple program. There is a big button that says speed test start. All you gotta do is click that and let it run. So this program is very useful for video editors because what this program does is that it pushes out different kinds of video codecs and see how fast your hard drive can write them and read them. Of course, this information doesn't really apply to everybody, but it still is a good test on how fast your hard drive is and the health of it. So the last Apple review is Geekbench 5, and this is specifically for measuring the performance of our CPU. You enter in your architecture of what's inside your Mac MacBook or your iMac, run CPU benchmark, and let it do its thing. So after the test finishes, you receive your score on the single core performance and the multi-core performance. And then you can scroll down for more very specific information on what the scores break down to for different types of processes that the CPU is responsible for. And the most important part about Geekbench is that you could compare your score to other people who have the same device with the same specs as you. So you can verify if your MacBook or your iMac is actually running up to speed with most of the population. All right, so now that we know how to measure our performance, how do we go about optimizing it? Well, let's go back to Clean My Mac X and there is a tab for maintenance that could give us a few tasks that we can do to optimize our Mac's performance. So let's open up Clean My Mac X. We're going to go to the speed section down in maintenance. We're going to free up RAM, free up purgeable space and run some maintenance scripts. There are a lot of other things that you can do, which is great, but I'm just going to run these first three. And just like that, my Mac is now optimized for the best performance. This is what Clean My Mac X can do for you. So there is that download link in the description. Highly recommend it. So hopefully all these tips helped you. Have a good one.